What's up guys, it's Drew from Taylor Tech. This is episode five of the Smart Home series. If you haven't checked out any of the other episodes and you want to, go ahead and click on the card in the top corner of the screen and start from episode one. In this video, we're gonna be installing the GE motion sensor as well as two Cree connected bulbs into that lamp right there, paired up with this uh, motion sensor through SmartThings and uh, we'll see how it works. So first, uh, let's go ahead and unbox the motion sensor. We'll get that paired up with smart things first. So here's the motion sensor itself. These GE ones are kind of on the big side. The reason they purchased this is because it was on clearance, but it should work fairly well. I've seen decent reviews on them. Some of them not so great, but we will see how they work from our own experience. It also comes with a mount we can mount on the wall. Uh, we may or may not be using this. I'm not sure exactly where we're gonna position it in this room yet. This is the loft upstairs. Episode one, we did a tour of the whole house if you wanna check that out. But as you walk up the stairs just over there, we uh, walk to the left into this room, which will activate these lamps, maybe a Harmony hub behind me by the TV in the future. But for now, we're going to be just connecting these lights to this lamp. So for the motion sensor itself, it's got a small, probably a number one Phillips screw on the back. We will go ahead and take this off and it takes two CR123 batteries. So that means that this should last for a very long time, probably a couple of years in my experience. It's got a little battery tab we'll need to pull out as soon as we start uh, adding a thing in the SmartThings app. So I have one of the Blake's phones here. This is an iPhone 7 Plus. So we'll go into SmartThings app and click on add a thing. And while it is searching for a thing, we will pull the battery tab on here. Okay, so it should be looking for it. Oh, it turns out there's actually two battery tabs, one on each battery. And this one is harder to get to. So I'm actually gonna remove the batteries. There we go, now I'll reinstall the batteries and it should come up for us. No, I'm not getting the directions out. Okay, there we go, I got it. So it just popped up GE Portable Smart Motion Sensor. What I had to do, instead of just pulling the battery tab out, which how most devices works, there is a little button on the bottom here. It's just a uh, small toggle button. So I pushed that and then it popped up for us in the app. So. Uh, I'll rename this device to Loft Motion Sensor. Done. And I will save it. So it is registering motion for us right now. Let me pop the back cover back on. All right, so motion sensor is paired up and ready to go. Now let's get the light bulbs done. I have many of these Cree bulbs at my house. And over the past two years, I've had one bulb go out on me. It does some weird, something weird where it actually stays on no matter if the uh, it's registering off or on. So, and I have probably 15 of them. So that's a pretty good record if you ask me. So with these, all we have to do is in smart things, add a thing, make sure there is power to our lamp right now. And there is power to the lamp. There's just no bulbs in there. So I'll go ahead and uh, screw this in. Okay, so as you can see, the bulb is on. And right away, it popped up Cree bulb. I'll call this loft lamp one. Save. Okay. And we'll do the same thing for the second one. These, these work so well with smart things. It's, it's, I don't understand why they don't advertise them to work with smart things on the box. It's advertised to work with Wink. <clears throat> which I did used to use Wink and it worked flawlessly with that as well. But anyway, these are Zigbee bulbs, which most smart bulbs are. And I didn't mention the motion sensor is Z-Wave Plus. And if you did watch the uh, second video in this series, you saw that we put the SmartThings Hub down in the office. So 
It's a fairly far, far way away from the hub and both devices popped right up without any issues. So you know the range is there. So now let's go ahead and get our second bulb up and running. I'll go back to add a thing. And it popped right up for us. This time it came up as thing. I will rename this to loft lamp two. Now let's see how they work. One and two. Perfect. One and two. All right. So just as a little point of reference, as I'm walking up the stairs here, the loft is just to the left. And in order to have motion only when we walk into this room, we're probably gonna to wanna to put the motion sensor on this wall. Otherwise, if it's on a wall up there or over here, it would pick up motion regardless of where we go on this top floor. So what we're gonna do, like I said, is install it right here, probably in this location. This is right around the corner of the stairs, as you can see there. So we're gonna go ahead and mount it right here with the included uh, screws. We're not gonna need any anchors because I know there, there's a stud there because it's the end of the wall. All right, so those are secured in there, not gonna go anywhere. There's just a little threaded slot on the back here. Just screw that right onto there. I'll position it this way a bit and should be good. If we go under Marketplace, Smart Apps, Lights and Switches, Smart Lighting is at the top. Which lights do you want to control? We want to control loft lamps one and two. And we want them to Let's just say turn on, we could have it set the dimmer level as well. How do you want to trigger the action? Let's do motion, of course. And which motion sensor? We will use the locked motion sensor that we just installed. Turn on when motion starts. And then we'll do turn off after motion stops. After, let's say, five minutes. We want this during any time, any day of the week or anything like that. So we're gonna leave the more options alone. Let next, we'll name this automation. We'll call it loft lamp motion on. All right, so let's give this a try. I'll go ahead and turn off the two loft lamps manually. All right, so in the app here, I'm gonna wait for the loft motion sensor to read no motion and then from there we will be able to walk into the loft and see if it does work for us. So one downfall that I can see right off the bat here about the GE motion sensor is that it takes a long time to register no motion after having motion as you can see I've been waiting here for probably about three minutes there's no option in settings to change the uh, refresh time of that. Other motion sensors like the dome motion sensor for example has anywhere as little as five seconds I believe to refresh the motion. So it, I think it's been about two or three minutes and it's still registering as motion. Let's see how long this does take to reset. Okay so I did a little bit of research and it turns out the refresh rate of these GE motion sensors is about five minutes. So in some cases that will work just fine for you. In other cases that may be a downfall. Like I said, other motion sensors like the dome motion sensor or the iris motion sensor, those work great and have very low refresh rates. But this one will work if you find one on a clearance or something like that. Uh, let's walk into the loft and see if it works. All right, so as you saw, the lights turned on automatically uh, by themselves as we walked in the room. I was looking on the phone as we were walking in and it did pick up motion straight away. There was no delay. So if you have any other advanced automation set up with this motion sensor, you don't have to worry about any kind of latency because it is Z-Wave Plus. So it's got that extended range and more reliability with it. So keep in mind, this is a very basic automation you can set up in SmartThings. There's no advanced core or web core automations with this. It's just basic smart lighting. We will get into more advanced automations with lights and other things in later episodes. That's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you did, make sure you're subscribed and you hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Drop a like down below. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and remember, stay smart.